everyone welcome to chandrakant patil public school online class 2020-21 bridge course for grade 7 and 8 subject science topic light myself mrs kaveri dear students we are going to learn today introduction about light what is light uses of light sources of light rectilinear propagation of light and reflection of light introduction to light light is a form of energy we can see around us many forms of energy like wind energy water energy electrical energy heat energy so on so light is also one of the form of energy light enables us to see the object surrounding us even light help helpful for plants carry out photosynthesis now we are able to watch this session with the help of light what is light the natural agent that stimulates a sight and makes things visible light is a electromagnetic radiation that can be detected by the human eye what are electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation are produced in a medium by fluctuating a uh, electric field and magnetic field so we, you will learn more about electromagnetic radiation in higher classes uses of light light is very useful to us light because of light the eyes can receive the image of the object and send the information to the brain the brain will help us to understand the appearance location and movement of the objects viewed light is a key factor in creating a successful image plants carry out photosynthesis with the help of light color segregation the reflected light falls on to our eyeball and passes the impression to brain making it look colorful sources of light there are two types of source of light one natural source of light and second artificial source of light what are natural source of light the object or things which emits light of their own are called natural source of light the sun is the major source of light for the earth stars and electricity in storms there are even some animals and plants that can create their own light you can observe in the picture sun stars jellyfish firefly are the examples for natural source of light which emit light of their own next artificial source of light the name itself it indicate it is artificial that is man made examples for artificial source of light are incandescent bulb halogen lamp led bulbs and fluorescent lamp next rectilinear propagation of light what is rectilinear propagation of light in order to understand let us perform a small activity so cut out three cardboards a b c pierce a hole in them so that the holes are in the same straight line along the edge of the table next place a lighted candle so that its flame is at the same height as the holes in the cardboard look through the holes as shown in the picture the picture will be shown in the next slide and you will understand this activity easily is the flame is is visible yes now shift the position b slightly is the flame is visible now no because light cannot bend and passes through b this shows that light travel along straight line this phenomena is called rectilinear propagation of light you can observe in this picture the boy can able to see the candle flame when the holes which are made in three cardboard are in straight line if any one of the cardboard is shifted then the boy cannot able to see the candle flame 
from this activity we have understood the light travel along a straight line that phenomena we call it as rectilinear propagation of a light next reflection of light what is reflection of light in the last activity we have seen that light travel along a straight line can we change the path of light dear student yes we can how when light falls on polished or shiny surface light changes its path this phenomena we call reflection of a light or bouncing back of light from uh, any surface is also called as a reflection of a light so dear students what we have learnt in this session what is light uses of light sources of light rectilinear propagation of light and reflection of a light based on these concept here is the worksheet you solve this worksheet and write the answer in answer sheet and preserve it when we ask you produce it the worksheet number 1 answer the following questions first question define light second mention any two uses of light third name two types of source of light give two examples for each source of light what is rectilinear propagation of light what is reflection of a light dear students i hope you have understood this session about light so next class again we will learn more concept about light have a good day thank you